Hey everyone, so to continue this tutorial, um, we're going to be doing the inventory, the uh, items and the classes, the loot, um, including the weapon um, for the for the hero, and uh, a small item shop. And I know I, th well actually I'm pretty sure I didn't do an item shop in my last one, so um, it should be a good bonus for people in terms of actually doing something new, um, because most of this tutorial uh, has been just repeats of old things just under the new editor or updated editor I mean um, so let's go in the data editor and start by making the item classes um, this is usually the lowest level thing to start with I'm going to switch to this and right click add object in the item classes um, so for this uh, map or tutorial I'm just going to have a weapon class and uh, and probably just a miscellaneous class that uh, can be for all the other items. I'm not going to be doing armor because uh, that's once I show you this, it's pretty simple. So let's call this weapon. And you could make multiple classes for each weapon, uh, for each type of weapon, but uh, I don't really need to do that here. And let's call this missile. Uh, let's just call it miss because I forget how to spell miscellaneous. <laughs> uh, Anyways, so now let's go make some items. So we have the item classes, and let's make some items that the guys can drop, and that uh, uh, that the zerglings can drop, and that a weapon that you can carry. Um, so the first one, let's just call it zergling blood generic. Okay. Item class. Uh, not scroll. I don't know. I defaulted to that. Um, where's misc? That's odd. It's not showing up there. Uh, okay, well, these must be only like the built in ones for some reason. Um, hopefully, this doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave that as scroll and change it through here. That's sort of weird. Um, make it a misc. Uh, that's actually new. I don't think that was in, in the old in the old one, but. Uh, Anyways, that looks like a bug. Um, container, not going to be anything right now. Not going to carry any behaviors or weapons. We'll be doing that for the weapon, though. Or actually, it'll be a quip. Um, the face is the what it appears like on the, uh, the button or whatever. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'll just use the Zergling. Uh, or what else? What else is there? I'm going to use Infestor Fungal Growth as something just quick. Can drop, uh, that's good. Uh, level, um, as far as level goes, it's mostly doesn't affect the player, but if you wanted an item that only like level 4 heroes could pick up, you could set this to 4, and then in a trigger, you could, whenever, you could run a trigger whenever an item is picked up, check, that, uh, check the item level versus the hero level, and if it's greater than or equal to, then let them pick it up elsewise, drop it. Um, that's how I would do preventing of level 1 heroes from getting like level 20 items. Um, but for now, anybody can pick up anything. I'm leaving that as level 0 and no requirements. And uh, I'm going to copy paste this and change this to be uh, short staff. And this is going to be uh, a weapon type, the weapon. Uh, let's see face, it's got to be different. Um, this is where you bring in your own custom icons and whatnot. So I'm just going to use uh, Hail of Lead. I have no idea what that is, but it uh, works here. And the class is going to be changed to Weapon. And um, now we need to actually make... Well, we're not going to make the weapon because it already exists. Um, so what I'm going to go now is go back to our hero and um, take off his side discharge weapon and so he has nothing uh, initially but then in the items we're gonna give him a short staff to start with so that'll give him his weapon so equip weapons add value and the weapon is K side start side discharge so the only um, non-believable part about this is that he gets a ranged frost bolt side discharge looking thing from having the staff but um, let's just hope that our user's mind, our player's mind can kind of stretch and believe that because 
you know, in like World of Warcraft, when you get a staff, you just, uh, you have basically, as a caster, you basically have a useless weapon that you never use to actually hit people with. Um, so, because this is a little bit simpler, this isn't a whole MMO RPG, we're just going to say you have your staff, it gives you your ranged attack. Um, but you could obviously change that to whatever weapon you want to give your hero um, for this staff. So we got this done now. So now let's go to units and um, put it back to all data and sort and uh, object family. I think I think if I search for item, it might come up. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's a good item to base this off of? These are all little sort of pickup items. I don't really want to use that. Okay, well, I'm going to use this gas palette. Let's duplicate. Uh, let's see. We we'll want that actor. We don't want the floating text. And uh, don't want the model either. We don't want uh, any of that. Item Item units. Every item needs a unit and an actor so that it can be displayed in game when it's dropped on the ground. Um, but they, they're pretty simple. They're not complex units or actors. Uh, so let's call this uh, short staff suggest. Press OK. Abilities, get rid of this. Get rid of this description. Oops. And uh, I don't think we need to do anything else here. I wonder why the flags were changed. I'm not sure about that. Uh, something must have been changed. Uncommandable. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. And now the actor. Let's call it short. Staffs. Click suggest. And amazingly, when I renamed this unit, um, one thing that Blizzard made it do is that um, you can see, for some reason, the item that we made is already linked in here from the items tab. And that's because the stats item already got switched. So when we actually change the name of our, our, of our item unit here, it automatically switched this field here to look for an item that was specifically named short staff and it found one so it actually got linked right in. So that's why it was good to make this item first and then make the unit so that uh, we don't have to do that field. It's already done. It takes care of itself. And now the actor, um, we would definitely want to change the art model. Um, I usually end up using the uh, treasure chest thing for most of my items shape uh, treasure chest closed. You can use open, but I'm going to use closed. And uh, I think that's all we need to do. We don't want this info text. You could give it more of a highlight tool tip and then back in the unit, make sure the flag of um, no tool tip, make sure that's not, I think this is by default usually checked. So you can see it's already been unchecked so that there, it does give you a tooltip when you mouse over and then you can set the tooltip right here. Um, right now it'll just say short staff though. And the icon is, the wireframe is clearly wrong too. I need to change that. Um, hopefully the treasure chest has a, has a wireframe. I think it should. Really? Ah, oh, darn. Wow, they put all the shape uh, thing onto one big texture file. Interesting. Okay, well, um, I'll go through the tip tip icons and see what we get here. It's no good like weapon. I'll just use this for now. Somehow that looks like a short staff. Uh, you'll have to use your imagination on me, with me on that one. And we'll change this to be the battle report thing too. Okay, battle report. Okay, good. Uh, so we got the actor ready now, and now if you go in game and in the units layer here, switch to player zero, switch to uh, item, and you should see it somewhere in here. Short staff, and you can see that I can place it, and they even gave it a nice greenish glow, which I believe is in the actor here somewhere. Somewhere in here, it's probably making that glow. Maybe in the events thing. Um, not a big deal, it's kind of cool. I actually like it. Um, 
So we got that item. So I'm going to leave that item there so that your guy can pick it up and have a weapon. And I'll show that without that weapon, he has no attack. So it kind of creates that true RPG feel where you need a weapon to survive. Um, different than Warcraft 3, where your guy always had a built-in attack, which is nice that they made for StarCraft 2. Um, they made it a bit different. Um, the other thing we need to do is duplicate our short staff and make one for the... Uh, what was it called? Zergling Blood? So if I rename this Zergling Blood, suggest. Nice. Didn't link that in. Uh, okay. Z, Zergling Blood, nice. It's already there. There's not many items in the game. And the actor, of course, has to be Zergling Blood as well. And I'm going to leave the icon the same just because I'm being lazy, um, but definitely switch it for yours. And the, the group icon too, I forgot. I forgot that even before. Um, and I'll leave the model too, but you could probably find a cooler model or something that would look more like Zergling Blood. Um, but I'll use a treasure chest for now. Um, okay. So, do we, let's see, we got the item now. And um, I believe one thing I didn't do was the actual cost. So, the short staff is going to cost um, two minerals and the uh, zergling blood is going to cost three minerals <clears throat> and um, I'm just setting that so I have some base value of the item so I know kind of you should always set a cost for all of your items except for like quest items so that you kind of have an idea of where it sits in terms of uh, item level uh, so you have an idea of what its value is um, but we're going to make the Zergling Blood be able to sell back to the store, so it's a way of making money if you farm Zerglings or whatever. Um, now, so we got the items working. Now we need a uh, inventory for our guy, so we need to make some containers first. So let's make a container. Let's call this Weapon Container. And this will be the sort of weapon slot for the guy. Slots, okay, let's add one. Add value, classes. The only classes for this is going to be weapon. Column zero. Equip is enabled. You need to check that off. Empty face. I don't think uh, this might be the. I think this is the button that appears when you click it on your user interface um, to open your bag. So I'm just going to pick this and see what it what it looks like. I don't know. And I'm going to leave the row and the column as 0, 0, and we'll see how that turns out in game. And that's it. It's just a one-slot thing. I'm not going to put a model or anything, like a ghost model or something like my last tutorial. I forget what I did back then. And let's copy-paste, and let's rename this. double-click and rename this to um, General Bag. Click Suggest. Um, now we can go back into slots here and change this. So the classes for this, it's going to have weapon still, but it's also going to have misc. And it's not going to be an equip. So that means when we have our weapon in this bag, it's just going to be like a carried item. Sort of like if you had two weapons and one's just sitting in your bag doing nothing. And that's what it'll be here. And uh, so let's add that and copy paste and add another column. Copy paste, add another column. Another column. So now we have it's going to be four slots. I'm keeping this fairly simple. Um, so it's four columns and one row. Now let's go to the Abilities tab. And let's right-click Add Object. And let's call this Caress Inventory. You might have different inventory abilities for each hero because they can use different weapons or something. Um, and it's of type Inventory. And click OK. And now, uh, let's see. Let's start from the bottom here. Range. I think this... Definitely, I'd set these to like 2, I think, in my RPG, so that you can drop up to a range of 2, and stats range is how far you can pick up. And I think this might also be about pawning too, but I, we'll find out. Uh, item death, no. Okay, so, uh, info. Here's the main things. Let's add value. So container, we're going to have our oh, War 3 here. I didn't know that was there. Wow, character. Uh, I guess the campaign adds stuff. I haven't, I haven't uh, looked at some of the built-in uh, Blizzard uh, inventory hero stuff, but I might look at that actually after this. 
um, 